Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Sony Xperia S or any other Sony phone I would reckon. Um, first of all you need to have these three things on your computer. Um, Sony Companion is the software that comes with your phone. Um, this is just to make sure that if anything would go wrong during the install uh, downgrade process that you can fix it so I'm already going to show you now how to fix it you just need to open um, Sony Companion I'm going to wait for it the computer's a bit slow because I'm recording on it it's not used to it and I'm using two screens so I'm just going to drag this along so if anything would go wrong at any chance you need to connect your phone and then you go on support zone and you just do start and then it'll just download something quickly. Once that's done, you get into here and you go into software update. So phone tablet software update. And here it says repair my phone slash tablet. So if you click that, it would find your phone, it would reinstall everything back to default so there would be nothing wrong so there isn't much risk of doing this uh, the only thing is you you um, you lose your guarantee or warranty whatever it is so now you've got these three programs these two will be in the description the links will be in the description so flash tool you get and you extract it to a file I've caught and then you just call the file flash tool you put the um, yeah so that then everything will be into so yeah then the file would look like this then you would go onto this one this is this file is your downgrade firmware so this is your 2.3 version of gingerbread uh, Android software so you'll open this wait it's on my other screen just drag it along oh so here we have it so you would see that is there well what you need to do with that thing is here on your flash tool you can see firmwares well you just get it from there and you drag it into firmwares in your flash tool so it will extract it then um, I think I have already got it in my flash tool so I don't have to do anything now we're just wasting time really <laughs> so yeah once the extraction is done Oh yeah, see, it, I just got the message saying that it's already in there. You'll see it's in. I've got a few other firmwares in there, so don't worry about that one. But the one we are looking at is this one. This one has to be in there. So then now you go back, and depending on your Windows version, if it's a 64-bit, you open Flash Tool 64. If it's a 32-bit, which, yeah, well, if you're not sure, you can always just check. Uh, you'd open this one. Well, I've got 64 bit, so I'll be opening this. So now you just double click that. And then once you have this, you go onto this, um, whatever you call it, like, like yeah, lightning thing. And then it will ask you these two. You just go flash mode, OK. And then here you get all the firmwares. Well, I already had these four firmwares on it. But the one you're looking for is the 6.0.8.3.75, and the branding is India. And yeah, then once you have that, if you just yeah check all these, if you want to wipe your data, make sure you've got everything backed up, and then you just go OK. Uh, you don't have to connect your phone yet; it will ask you to do that anyway. So it now says it's preparing for flashing, and I will now take my camera so I can show you what I'm doing with my phone now so once it has done preparing your flashing you're gonna get your phone and you are going to go into your settings and you go into developer options and you need to enable USB debugging that's the one on top and you also want to enable stay awake just so that your phone stays awake because it might um, do something wrong when it's 
the screen is off so just in case check that one and then you will go to you need to now go to security and then here you would see unknown sources you need to make sure you allow unknown sources to install onto your phone so then once you've done that you will see as you can see in the background or on the main screen it will probably be that you need to unplug the device which it already was you just need to power off your phone once the phone is powered off you get the volume down volume button so that's this one you press you hold this one in so it's now held in then you get the the connector to your PC and you plug it in while you're holding it yeah so while you're holding it you plug it in and then you just connect it like that and the green light should go on here and as you can see it is now flashing my my phone back to 2.3 version of uh, yeah Android so your f my phone's still in um, flash mode so you just unplug it and then we'll see what happens you just turn it on it will take a while for the Xperia logo to show but don't worry that's just normal and there you go here is um, Android on gingerbread so your Xperia S is back on gingerbread to check if it is on gingerbread you go into settings oh wait just skip all this stuff or we'll just do this quick English and then yeah just skip all this Wi-Fi no thank you so yeah now you just go into your settings wherever they are on gingerbread here they are you get all the way to the bottom about phone and then you can see Android version right here you can't see on the camera but it says 2.3.7 this is some weird glitch but yeah <laughs> it says 2.3.7 so there you go uh, I hope you enjoyed well not enjoyed but hope you liked the video and check out for more and all